All right, YouTube. Uh, my name's Alan Polk, uh, AKA Commander Panda. Uh, about three weeks ago, I ordered from Airsoft GI some uh, mystery patch packages. And uh, one of the packages include this. Uh, let me get this in here. Can you see that? It is. That, I'm going to read it to you here. It's Airsoft GI would like to present to you the winner of the Airsoft GI New Year Mystery Patch Package. Uh, the redemption code for one classic army scarab ABR carabine AEG airsoft gun black. Value of $359.99. Well, I wanted to wait to uh, till I actually got it in to actually do this video. So here it is. Um, this is the Classic Army Scarab ABR. Uh, I've already opened it up once, so you know. But everything's back in the box the way as it should be. This is the way it comes. Uh, I already popped those tabs. This is the way it looks right here. The box. This is the side. That's the bottom side in here. Right here. It's got the stickers showing that it is for their promotion. Um, nice little picture of the scarab right there. Classic Army's logo, what is included in the box. Let's open the sucker up. All right, here we go. Pop these loose, open this up. On the top we find a gun bag. Eh, I don't really use these, I've got gun cases that I will I have an extra gun case, I'll probably put this in. That's kind of nice, though. So maybe I'll put it in that and then in the gun case. Let me flip this up. And this is the Scarab ABR. Can you see that? Let's get it up closer. There we go. The sucker inside the box comes with a high cap magazine. Uh, metal construction. Black, brand new. Um, Allen key. The Allen key fits the uh, rail segment that pops down to uh, enclose the battery. And it also fits the charging handle. This is the scare. Very nicely packaged in here, by the way. The foam is very nice. I'll probably end up keeping this. I use this foam for all kinds of things. And of course, it comes with a cleaning rod. Leave the cleaning rod in here. Set the box aside. This is the Classic Army Scarab ABR. I'm gonna pull this sticker off, stick it on top of the box. <coughs> As you can see, I've already changed the charging handle from once from the side it came on. And that's a little tricky to get the charging handle locked back. There we go. Charging handle's locked back. Ambidextrous release and ambidextrous fire selector ambidextrous mag release so charging handle release mag release and fire selector all ambidextrous flip up front and rear sights with dual aperture let's get in here let's zoom this in There we go. We got dual aperture front and rear sights. This is what the gun looks like on both sides. Really nice uh, CQB style uh, three position collapsible stock. And it's very sturdy, it doesn't wiggle around at all. Uh, battery is housed in the bottom rail here. You take this. Allen key out, this Allen key out, and this comes out and put it. It fits uh, a stick or nunchuck style batteries. Uh, flared magwell for installation of the magazine. Like that, magazine snaps right in. And let's see how it falls out. Mag falls right out. Let's see, did we get that on there? Magazine, just push the mag release on either side. 
magazine falls right out. Uh, folding sights. Very well built, very heavy, heavy, heavy rifle. Of course, it's got the orange tip. I'll be changing that uh, flash hider up for a uh, metal flash hider. I don't think I'm going to do anything to this gun because uh, I'll put it up on the screen, the specs of the gun, but I'm also going to read them. I'm actually going to read what it says. And it takes 11.1 uh, volt lipo. It shoots 375, 400 FPS with a 20 uh, gram BB. Um, 900 to 1,000 rounds per minute. Okay, features CNC machined upper and lower receiver, key mod CNC machined aluminum handguard, full length top rail is ideal for mounting optics and other accessory. Uh, bottom 20 millimeter Picatinny accessory rail. Uh, battery compartment is wired into the handguard, in the front handguard of course. Uh, three position adjustable stock, nine millimeter metal gearbox. Uh, this gearbox is second to, uh, to none as far as uh, uh, com what comes stock with. It's got an electronic programmable trigger. It's, it's really awesome. Uh, ETU, uh, here, here we go, ETU electric trigger unit uh, provides quick trigger response and uh, protects trigger contacts. It's got a MOSFET built into it. It's got a 6.03 millimeter tight bore barrel. Uh, you can program it to three or five round bursts. Uh, you could also do it, uh, you could program it semi full, semi three, semi five, uh, three auto, uh, excuse me, three round burst with uh, uh, full auto, five round burst full auto, or lock out the uh, lock out everything and just have it be semi semi uh, it does have a true quick change spring system basically you dislocate this uh, allen key right here this drops down of course you have to have it forward like this so it doesn't hit the uh, fire selector this drops down stick your allen key inside there twist push twist pops the spring right out push twist put a spring right in slide this back on put that on it's very 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 quick change spring system I actually already uh, Change the spring out once just to give it a try, and and it was very very quick. But listen to this uh, listen to this bolt release. That sounds like my real steel AR. Uh, it's, it's just awesome the way it sounds. Uh, let's see, the length of this uh, baby is 407 millimeters. Uh, actually, this is going to be the 806 millimeter. Well, 407 uh, collapsed. 806. Uh, uh, adjustable at uh, full length. The weight is uh, is 3,170 grams. Uh, the UPS tracking on it said it was 10 pounds. Uh, inner barrel is 354 millimeter magazine capacity, 350 round high cap magazine. Uh, works with any M4 and I've got tons of M4s. Uh, muzzle velocity of course I've mentioned that is 375 to 400 feet per second. Uh, measured with a uh, 0 0.20 gram BB. Uh, thread is 14 millimeter negative, which is awesome if you want to put a suppressor on it or put an extended barrel on it with a uh, mock suppressor. Gearbox is a version 2 full metal, fully upgradable, which you don't really need to upgrade in here. They've got everything. They've got wire cut gears, uh, the MOSFET trigger unit, like I said. They've got a high torque motor inside this baby. Um, there's really nothing that needs to be upgraded from this. Uh, I've upgraded my Crytek, uh, I've upgraded my KWA, KM4A1, um, my Crytek Trident, uh, I didn't have to upgrade it, but I did want to put the Gate Titan in it, um, and same with my KWA, uh, KM4A1, uh, put a Gate Titan in it. I don't really need to put a Gate Titan in this. Um, I don't know if I could, I've uh, watched a few videos on it, and it doesn't seem like, uh, the trigger setup is the same, although I'm not even worried about it. It's not like uh, an upgrade I would do with this anyway because of the fully programmable trigger unit that's on it. Uh, it says uh, fire modes, uh, semi, full auto, uh, and safe. 
Uh, LiPo stick type battery up to 11.1 recommended. Uh, it says stick type, but you could also use the LiPo uh, three cell, uh, well, the tri nunchuck uh, hop up. It does have a hop up, which is a full metal hop up. Uh, package includes gun, magazine, and manual. Manufacturer is Classic Army. Uh, that's reading from my phone on their off their website. And let me show you the hop up here. This this hop up unit is all metal. If you can see inside there, it's all metal. And this thing is so easy to turn. But the thing about a rotary style hop up is you don't need to worry about it uh, coming unadjusted like a uh, like a gear style hop up. And not only that, it does have definite clicks into the position. I don't know if you can hear that. You probably hear my dog barking outside more than this. But it has definite clicks into the positions. Um, and it's just very, very, very well constructed. This, I don't know how easy it is going to be to pop this uh, sucker apart, take it apart. Hold on one second. I'm going to push pause and I'll come right back. Okay, well I'm back. Well, as you can see I was unable to get the upper and lower receiver apart brand new gun so it's you know it's very well fit together very tight so um as far as that goes uh we'll be using we'll be doing some firing on this this weekend maybe sometime this week you know in the backyard but uh for now commando panda signing out thank you for watching please like and subscribe thank you Thank you.